Hey everyone, today, we're diving into how to create a background that perfectly matches your unique art style using Abler. I wish I could explain every detail step by step. But since our time's limited, I'll ask for your understanding. If this video gets a lot of love and support, maybe I can make follow-up videos showing specific techniques for different art styles. So please like, share, and spread the word. Let's start by going over the most essential Abler features that work across any style. When building any kind of background, comic, illustration, or cartoon, your most powerful tools are line art and shadow. These two let you separate the scene into its structure and depth, giving you complete control over the final look. Let's begin with line art. From a 3D background model, you can extract three types of lines. The main outline the inner lines that show structure and the fine details that add texture and precision each type can be exported separately. So you can combine or recolor them later in your drawing software. Now, on to shadows. By adjusting the color and range, you can make shadows look deep and dramatic, or soft and subtle. You can also export multiple shadow layers with different intensities, for example, one shorter and one longer and stack them later for richer tones and a stronger sense of depth. You can select each line type in the render panel, and for shadows, simply duplicate your scene, adjust the shadow length for each one, and render them with shadow only enabled. Once you have your line only and shadow only renders, you're free to stylize them however you like. Next, let's see how to use these to fit your own artistic approach. Every background style I'm showing today can look great with Abler alone. But today's focus is on going one step further. A smart, time-saving approach for artists who want a bit more stylish results without spending forever on background work. Comic backgrounds rely on bold, expressive strokes and high contrast. Here, line art is your main weapon. Unlike webtoon backgrounds. Comic art thrives on strong outlines so make those outer lines thicker. Deepen the darkest, narrowest shadows to near black, and if you want an extra layer of shading. Extract one more shadow pass with a mid-range width. If you want a pure ink and tone look, turn off the material layers before rendering. Need more depth? Add another scene. Adjust the shading reference slider for a longer shadow, and stack the layers in your drawing app. And just like that, you've got a dynamic comic-style background full of contrast and energy. For illustration backgrounds, it's all about mood, volume, and depth. Illustration artists often show their personality through line texture or by skipping lines altogether and focusing on color and form. That's why for this style, we'll turn the lines off completely. Create multiple scenes with different shadow depths. Export both a no-shadow version and a few shadow-only renders at varying ranges. Now, in your painting software, stack these shadow layers. Blend them softly where needed, and keep crisp edges where you want contrast. Use your favorite brush to blur, smudge, or refine each layer. Add reflective light or subtle highlights by hand. And you'll get a beautifully layered, atmospheric background that feels both hand-drawn and thoughtfully crafted. Cartoon-style backgrounds are colorful and meant to support the characters, but that doesn't mean you can get away with low quality. They still need to look clean and polished. Depending on whether you want outlines or not, there are two ways to go. If you do want lines, just check line only when rendering and color them however you like. If not, simply uncheck lines and go to the Material tab, then click Hide Material. Since cartoon art usually exaggerates and simplifies forms, backgrounds with too much texture or density can feel out of place. But if you still want a hint of material, you can render a material-only version and use it later with lowered opacity. But if the lighting feels too flat, Make one shadow scene and use that as your single shading pass. Bring it all into your drawing program, add your characters and final touches, and you've got the perfect cartoon-style background. Now you know how just a few simple Abler features can open up endless stylistic possibilities.
Whether you love the bold tones of comics, the layered depth of illustrations, or the bright simplicity of cartoons, the process starts the same, but ends in your own creative hands. If you discover your own techniques while using Abler, share them with other creators. Let your individuality shine and make our creative world even more colorful. And as always, Abler will be right there with you on that journey.